the 25th Amendment. It's trending today, of course, because everybody's looking at Joe Biden, excuse me, got to respect the office, President Joe Biden, and the mainstream propaganda media, powerful forces in the Democratic Party, everybody is coming to the conclusion because of the poll numbers that Joe Biden is not going to make it. He's not going to make it. So get ready, put on your bootstraps, fasten your seatbelt, and let's get ready for details on the 25th Amendment. Here's our list of what most likely is going to happen. I already mentioned it, but the mainstream media realizes that he's not going to make it. And they don't think that they can place him in again like they did last election. The Democrats will be able to claim that they're the first party to put a woman as president of the United States. It won't matter that Joe stepped down. They'll still take credit for being the first party for placing a woman of color or a black woman in office first. They can place Michelle Obama in, the supposed hesitant Michelle Obama, which I'm not buying, into office, therefore giving Barack Obama, President Obama, got to keep doing the, I got to respect the office. President Obama, it will give him his fourth term. And if you get that, I'll, oh, you know, let me just explain it. The first two years was his term. This past term, with President Biden was his third term. Michelle would be his fourth and fifth if she gets in and gets reelected. The 25th Amendment, if it kicks in, will bring in the vice president as president of the United States. So let's read the first three sections of the 25th Amendment. The fourth one is going to be in the comment section in this video, so you can look at it. It's just too long to be able to read. We're just going to go, it's a little long, but we're going to go with the first three. Here they are. You don't have to excuse me. Uh, I've given up on that little teleprompter we had. Eventually, we'll be able to afford one like the mainstream propaganda media, if I do say so myself. Here it is, section one of the 25th Amendment. In case of the removal of the president from office or his death or resignation, the vice president shall become president. Of course, they're assuming now it's a man at this time when they wrote this. Uh, they weren't thinking women would ever become president at that day and age. Section two, if you value our content and the pursuit to report the truth, Please go to realmustangmedic.com and find out how you can support this effort. This will allow us to continue to offer our unbiased reporting if you share, comment, subscribe, and donate with that little heart button underneath the video. It supports us and it helps us grow this channel to get to the truth and get it out there. You're very much appreciated. Now back to the video. Section two, whenever the president transmits to the president pro tempore of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, his written declaration that, that he is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, and until he transmits to them a written declaration to the contrary, such powers and duties shall be discharged by the Vice President as acting president. You start to see the writing on the wall, people? You see what's about to happen? They, they know Joe's not going to make it. There's just no question about it. Um, they are in a desperate situation, and that's why right now what's trending is the 25th Amendment. So do you see the writing on the wall, people, what's about to happen? It seems so obvious, and the fact that it's trending, and I'm sure the mainstream media is helping that trend, because they're going to do everything in their power right now to get Joe out. You're going to suddenly see them focusing, like CNN and MSABC are going to be focusing on, is Joe really competent to run for office? Which we all know he's not. We've always known, well, most of us have known that he's not. I personally thought he had dementia the first time he got in office. I didn't think he was going to make it a year. I was doing posts, I don't know if I was wrong on this one, but I was doing posts saying that uh, Camilla is going to become president, and I thought within the first year or second year. We're on the three and a half years, and he's bumping in the walls, and you know, I can't even watch the videos anymore of his gaffes because there's so many. I mean, 5% of the time he's competent. And when that is, you know, what are they giving him to make him competent? You always wonder that. I feel for the man. I, I think that he really should retire. I mean, you know, I, 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 what's driving him has to be his ego. It has to be. And can an American president, just by his sheer will and ego, stay in office? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the powers to be are going to take him. I don't want to say take him out because that sounds wrong. They're going to replace him. What are your thoughts about this? 
situation. It certainly seems pretty serious. Well, Joe, I think your time is up. I think the jig is up. But watch the media. Watch how they react. And uh, it's going to be very obvious. I kind of enjoy doing this because I can predict the future. <laughs> I feel like I can because it's so obvious. This is William Weeding reporting from Mustang Medic. I appreciate you being here. God bless you. And uh, until the next time, thank you.